Oh, we got music in the background. We are here at the Navajo Live recording during their monthly singer-songwriter showcase. It's pretty cool. I'm waiting for Spicy Kim to go wrangle us up some artists to talk to or some other people to chat with about the event. Last week, you heard us talking to a few different people. Um, yeah. So who's coming over? Well, we have everybody coming over. They're just all Who's this guy? I met him. Who's that guy? What? Do you play anything? Oh, this is Chris Miller. Go, oh. Chris, go play with yourself on the... On the right go ahead and grab Chris. a microphone and a headphone. This will be fun. This is our good friend, Chris Miller. Because we're only going to really be having one person at a time on board. Hey, scoot on over. Grab that headphones. He's a very interesting fellow. His name is Chris Miller. He is a uh, Libra. <laughs> um, I Are you a Libra? For certain, yes. Are His you really is, a Libra? Yes. I am. I'm evenly balanced and <laughs> hey, pull the mi- proportioned pull, in every way. Pull the microphone close <laughs> to you. you. There, there you go. Just like that, yeah. Chris Miller actually came all the way to San Felipe when John Campos and the Incurables played there with Matthew Phillips and the Falling Doves, <laughs> both alums, all and John Campos and the Incurables, alums that was, uh, of the Dusty Food Show. Supposedly a badass show that I missed. It was a complete badass show. So Craig, Chris, Cro- whatever. Chris. Whatever you want to call me. Corey, Charlie. <laughs> so how do you fit in the mix here? Chris is a roadie. Um, he's, a, he's a big fan. He's a great guy, and we love him so much. Roadie slash groupie slash cool. I know. I got Come things on, to worry about, you know. All these people. Well, yeah, this is oh, like look, the staging room. We're in the kind oh, of the staging sorry. room as well, so you got hey, guitars baby. all over the place, musicians coming in and out, getting ready for the next setup. And it's all the action yeah. besides the stage, and actually. Yep. And uh, the guy is about to sit tape. down right now. He just performed an amazing couple songs for us here oh, was at it Navajo Live. A few Live. songs. Yes. Thank Please you. state your name and your birth date. <laughs> just your name. Yeah, what's your sign? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Mark Folk, F-O-U-L-K. F-O-U-L-K. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Mark. You just played here at the Navajo Live Singer Songwriter Showcase yes. Yes. that they do every month. Is this your first time doing it? It's my first time doing this, yes. I've done some Monday night uh, open mics here. And that's oh, every cool. Monday night. They're little jam sessions, every right? Every Monday night they do yeah. that, yes. That's so awesome. She, Emily plucked you out and said, hey, uh, yes, you got to yeah. do this thing. Well, yes, it worked together. I talked to her about it, and she said yes, and awesome. I'm glad she did. Awesome. Yeah. We're glad she did, too, because you mm. sounded amazing. Thank well, you thank so much. You. How long have mm. you been doing the, the Monday night things with the Navajo Live here? Um, not real, real long, probably uh, two or three months. I live real close, used to. Uh, go down into North Park, into the stats, and oh, yeah. uh, started coming here and found this to be a great venue. Yeah, it's uh, it in is. my, in, in, for my knowledge, the only venue that actually does an open mic night in East County. Yeah, it could could well be, and it's a great stage. It's a great room to perform in. So. Yeah, the sound is pretty pretty R- rad. Oh, it, it's amazing. Like I was actually, I didn't get to see it when I first got in here because everything was dark, and I was walking back here and busy setting up and. Yeah. Sitting out there I watching wasn't. watching you. I want I want to call you Marshall Falk. <laughs> right? Marshall, I, I know it is Sunday football was I know, on. Right? But he's kind of been retired for a couple of years though, bro. I got to tell you. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's Michael Falk, right? Actually, it's Mark. 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 Yeah, and it's I don't Falk. know where I got the Michael. That's from. okay. That's uh, we okay. can edit that. I'm, I'm horrible. Well, I, that's the thing is I'm They've actually calling me Craig all night. I know. I know what the hell. <laughs> There's, there's one of two things happen because of my, my crappy memory with names. Is either I keep calling you the wrong person and everybody starts calling you that, or you correct me enough to where I actually learn it. <laughs> and <laughs> no, that's it. No problem. No yeah. problem. So are you so, playing out anywhere? Uh, no, not no? really. Just so kinda, just a thing, a hobby kind of situation? Yeah, yeah. I used Sounds to. Good. I used to play. Um, oh. Play professionally for about five years. Yeah back uh, in my early days in uh, San Francisco and uh, Orange County and uh, right on uh, not too much in San Diego though so so a singer songwriter kind of a hobby of yours that you just kind of do because you love it because of the heart I've been uh, writing songs for for a lot of years yeah. and um, um, and yeah yeah I, I like I love writing songs and we've got uh, uh, several of our uh, our kids uh, are good songwriters and good guitar players and stuff so so we've got a good musical family. That's awesome. I like to hear that. So that's so. It's did you like? Did you come from a musical family as well? You know what's funny is there was uh, it's kind of interesting. There's a, a series of guitar books um, uh, by a guy named Mel Bay. I don't know if you've ever heard that name or not, but he was fairly famous in the guitar world. And I was surprised when I came out to California and I saw some of his songbooks because when I was growing up in uh, St. Louis. 
Mel Bay had his own music store there. My dad took us down one day and he said, you guys can buy any instrument you want. And so we got to go through and pick whatever instrument we wanted and that really helped us. My dad said he could never do music, but he loved it, but he hoped we would. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so that's kind of how we got to start there. That's cool. And um, see, I'm trying to figure out, because I'm sorry, I just heard John, John Campos, our executive producer's husband, just kicks ass on the guitar as well and uh, so do you man hearing you play like it's amazing and that's what it was you said something during your set that you uh you said something about you're like i hope and then you lean to Allie. i hope ally would be someone to sing this song like oh, one of your yeah. last songs you sang yeah so you're more interested in getting your songs out there for other people to hear them and yes. possibly perform them for you yes really yes yes exactly i think uh my career days are probably behind me for that. So. <laughs> tell that, please. Tell that to a lot of these guys who think that they can go prancing around on stage at 70 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. man, they need to step down and give it to the new guys. Let, exactly. let us let the, let the new performers get out there. There you go. That's and that's right. what events like this is all about, yes. is to give you know the opportunity, especially the jam sessions, to give the opportunity to new musicians to come out and you don't have to go downtown now right. to do this. It's here, East County. It's right here under your Absolutely. nose off of Navajo at 125. Exactly. And Craig, I mean, Chris, <laughs> you're just nodding along. You got anything to add to this? I just I just made I'm, him kind of be the co-host. Right. Well, I'm totally enjoying the night. I mean, there's some beautiful voices, some great musicians here. Yeah. And it is nice that a local community has, you know, open mic like this for people to, to shine, to show what their talents are. Yep. And I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be a part of it. So. Cool. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, Mark, thank you so much for taking a seat. I think we want to get this young lady. You betcha. Allie. Thank you very much. Come here. Have a seat. Go ahead and sit down. Get yourself comfortable. Whoa, I just got All right. It was a pleasure, Mark. Definitely a pleasure. Are you going to take off, too? I'm yes, scared. I'm. You're going to leave me alone with this beautiful young lady? Like, oh, my God. She has the most amazing voice. I really love listening to her songs. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Are you going to... Are you I'm going to go uh, listen to the other musicians. And All right. I'll come back and see you again, Big John. All right. Sounds good, Chris. Thank you, sir. Well, then I'm going to ask you, Allie, to get closer over here. All right. Because uh, you're so beautiful. I have to have you so close to me. <laughs> No, my girlfriend's okay with me saying stuff like that, but, uh, but anyway. There we go. Now you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, I can see better. All right. Now you can pull the microphone as close to you as possible. What's comfortable for you? Yeah. Hello. Why, hello there. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Is this your first time performing at the Navajo Live Singer-Songwriter uh, Showcase? It is, yeah. What do you think of it? Oh, it's amazing. Isn't it <laughs> unique? Yes, it is. So how do, have you done, you've done other, I'm sure you've done other singer-songwriter things, like other live mics? I've done open mics. Or that's what I meant, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So how does this compare to like what you would see at a typical open mic event? It's much more intimidating. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but um, I've, I've been doing the acoustic open mics here at Navajo Live on Monday nights, mm -hmm. so this kind of feels like a comfortable place for me. So in, in that, I felt, you know, pretty okay. But I think um, it's just a surreal feeling. Um, I've always done covers, yeah. so being able to do my own music, and I actually wrote songs purposefully for this showcase, yeah. um, which I haven't done for years. Um, it, it's... It really is a tremendous blessing, but in all reality, it's it's so surreal. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? You look pretty young. Give or take, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm I'm 26, so. That's still young. I'm 40. So. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No. No. That's that's still young. Um, I mean, in this crowd of people, to be honest, yeah. you're a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the Navajo Live, yeah. one of the one of the older bars in East County. Yeah. Um, I've been doing open mics at least since probably since the beginning of. I'd say around college in 2015. I didn't even really know what an open mic was. Um, I went by a Starbucks over in our Rancho San Diego, and um, I was with my folks, and my stepdad was like, hey, there's this thing on the wall about an open mic. Allie, you should check it out. And I was like, I don't know what that is. That sounds intimidating. I, I ain't going to, no. And so he went in, 
and I thought he was getting something to drink for me and then he came out and he was like so I talked with the barista and she told me what it is and it's Friday night so you're playing so you better get something and I was like oh my gosh oh uh, hello wow <laughs> yeah so that's how it started wow and you just you just finally kind of came out started coming out of your shell like, mm -hmm. yeah nice. so how long have you been writing Jeez. Well, I've always done like poetry and stuff as a kid, mm. but um, never really putting music to it. Yeah. Probably not until, probably not until like high school, college, around college. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So, what got you into actually trying to make music out of your poetry? Mm. Well, to me, I feel like I, I, the reason I ask is that's yeah. that's a big step to take because I'm a musician myself, mm -hmm. and I in high school and middle school I loved writing poetry, and I have I have a massive like mm -hmm. stack of poems that I've written mm -hmm. off and on since then. Mm -hmm. And when I started trying to put it to music, it was like, I didn't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. I had no clue. I was a drummer. Like what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so where did your inspiration to do that come from? Well, to me, I feel like music, music is a way to tell your story and express what's going on. And I think as a, well, dare I say musician? I feel like it's a kind of bold to say, but as a musician. Mm -hmm. No, you're a musician. Weird. You were just um, up on stage performing. <laughs> you're, you're a musician. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so as a... Yeah, that's legal. Right, Craig? Yeah, you're it legal. It still feels surreal to me, so... <laughs> yeah. But I, music... Poetry is a way to express yourself, but I think music even more so... For me, music lives inside of me, so by putting words to it and how I'm feeling and what I'm going through... Mm -hmm. Music is that kind of, it's a, it's a catharsis for me. It's, and it's a way for me to express in such a way that just words can't. And being somebody that's always done music. I mean, I've, I've sung since I was around three. Like, I think I just came out of, <laughs> came into the world. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's here. <laughs> yeah, but she's not listening to yeah. this, so you're good. But um, she met later. Yeah. But um, I, I think just coming into the world, I've always had this musical mindset, and I love, I love writing. I love poetry, and I just love how, especially I've been so influenced here on Monday nights, and and even up on stage listening to you guys, you guys tell incredible stories in the best way that you know how, and it's. It's beautiful to be able to encase it in such well, a way. When you add music to it, it makes it really powerful. Yeah. yeah I was about to say, and the, and the guy that you're talking to that we already referenced to, he was on last week with uh, with this. This is this is going to be airing the week after the previous recording we just did. So, um, <laughs> and that's actually going to stay on. I'm not going to edit much of this out, <laughs> just for fun. But Craig Shannon, who is actually going to be a featured artist on the Dusty Futon. Mm -hmm. Um, which uh, we got to him through Reverbation, which is cool. I still love the fact that, yeah, the, what Reverbation. Are you on Reverbation, Allie? Mm -mm. You should oh, check yeah, that out. Maybe put a couple of uh, home recordings. You don't, you don't need to go to a mm -hmm. studio nowadays. I'm yeah. sorry, I just just yeah. glazed glazed over Craig again. But you it's don't fine. need to go to a studio nowadays to put something into your computer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just upload it as an MP3 to get yourself yeah. a Reverbation page. And at the very least, mm -hmm. that helps grow your audience right. base and your friend base and people who are interested yeah. in you that will support you yeah. wherever you go. Yeah. And and I'm sorry, I know that he was talking with you really quick, but um, don't worry I, about I, that. Like I was saying, you know, I tend to do a lot of covers. He's got a whole episode to himself, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, I have plenty. <laughs> it's um, it's weird, like to go on stage. It's it's like very strange for people to say my name because, like I say, I do covers. Um, I I don't usually like film myself. It's more like um, like I edit like my own stuff and all of that. But I do it on YouTube because I did it on SoundCloud, but then I ran out of my free membership and yeah. I didn't want to pay. So um, <laughs> but um, so being able to do that was a next step for me, and it was very intimidating. But I think that's the only way that you can grow is doing things that scare you. Yeah, recordings um, are a lot different than playing live. Or yes. Than it's yes. just such a different animal. Yeah, because if um, I don't get it right, I, I have the yeah. opportunity to record about 15 more times on that one piece and then yep. edit it in such a way mm -hmm. and put in the reverb, but live. But then live live is, I like live better. I mean, the result is better, I think. It's harder for me to record. And a lot of times I'll have to record a guitar part and then a sing over mm -hmm. it and then another part. Of it. And, and when I'm do, and I'm not playing and singing at the same time, it's it's so much different. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't come out the same. I don't seem to be able to hit the same notes, and, and then I play it back. I'm like, oh, that's no good. And mm -hmm. one thing, live is there and it's gone. True. When when you record it, it's there forever. It's like, oh, yeah. you can just listen to that bad note over and over. Like mm -hmm. the the I have 
one song that we played, uh, the, some kind of angel, I have a car going down the street. Yeah. Because I got a studio mic in my condo, mm -hmm. you know, and I just left the car in, but. Um, yeah. You know, and it's there forever. Whatever, is, <laughs> it's there for, you can't get sometimes, away from it. And that's the thing, but sometimes with those recording sessions, when you do make those mistakes, sometimes those are the best those parts. Those are good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but it's just different, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's you know, you said the growth is always about doing something that frightens you or right. something that you're, you're unsure about. Mm -hmm. But it's also wanting to take that step too. Right. It's yeah. and you have the passion. I can see it. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And you were great up there. There was oh, that you. third song was amazing when he did your favorites. vocal effects, and it was I, was. I didn't know what I was hearing. What I was hearing, or yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> how, how much did you pay? pay yeah, what Chris? was <laughs> right? Yeah, how much money did you slide him to make wow. your voice sound so that amazing? Was, that was so cool. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. But um, no, it was fun. That's actually one of my favorite songs that I, I love to play. I always love to play around with reverb. So that's yeah. always a. So when I I didn't know that they did that here. So when I was first here, I was like, oh, they do the thing that I do. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's always good. It's always good to have places like Navajo Live supporting local music and supporting singer songwriters, especially like because you that's a group of people who don't get any real support because there's no it, this is my biggest problem with the music industry right now is if there's no real money in it and by real money, I mean like a ton of money to split among 100,000 people, then they don't want to talk to you. You know, and sometimes you just need a boost of support, you know, and if it's just a couple of people on an open mic night, an open jam, acoustic jam on a Monday at 7 p.m., or if it's a singer-songwriter showcase like they have once a month, Navajo Live is really doing a lot to help the local music scene and grow it by bringing it out to East County, expanding the, the reach of the local scene. They're spicy. Hi, we missed you. You got anybody else coming in? Looks like we got Emily coming up. Headphones, Woo! darling. Put on your headphones. Come on, Emily. How you doing? Hello. Can you uh, try to get that mic as close to you as possible? Okay. Yeah. I've never done anything like this before. So. Oh, That's even okay. closer, even closer. Just even closer. Get all up into your baby. business. Oh, oh, oh yeah. There you go, lady. <laughs> Is that low got enough it for you? We got it going. So how you doing, Emily? <laughs> uh, I'm doing pretty good. I think it's a wonderful night. It is. I love the choreography, the way it worked out. I try to put the right artist in the right slot. That so what do you what do you do other. for this? Like, what is your role in terms of the, the singer thing. songwriter? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can call me the producer. The uh, I, yeah. I created the evening. Nice. I started it with having twelve performers, four performers each hour on the hour. I love the idea of the Nashville round robin. Yeah. And but four performers per hour was just a little bit too much for the audience, so yeah. we broke it down to three performers per hour, and it seems to work out well. And then. I am blessed that I have a bunch of different solo artists, and sometimes I do put duos on the on the bill. But this month it was all solo artists, nice. and um, after they give me their confirmation, then I try and I listen to all of their music, and then try and figure out who would work best with each other, who would nice. possibly make them do something that they didn't think they were going to play that yeah, night. I would call you a producer for <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's rad. That's now, a, that's so a great way to do it. What's your role at the Navajo Live then? Um, well, I I started the Acoustic Monday open mic. How long ago was that? Emily? Yeah, I was about uh, to ask. We started the Acoustic back in March. I was really upset and, uh, when the Stats was going to close. Yeah. And the fact that solo artists were so going to lose another... So that's what sparked your, sparked your yeah. passion for it? Yeah, that's because... Real. I mean, I'm glad the stats are still there, but I'm also well, glad yeah. that it also... Exactly. But the thing was is that you. I was upset and went to Chris, and Chris, who also... Chris Haney... Oh, he's amazing. He loves this format. He loves acoustic music. And when I had mentioned that the stats was closing, can we please bring something here he was right on top of it and so we started the monday That's open so cool. mic nice and then i also um i help out with bookings yeah a you do bit. quite a bit don't you I, a few I, venues around town um well i i book all over east county and then a couple of other places that i am able to that i have some ins with right um but um we're about to, about I, to get a loud applause oh, so sorry. <laughs> oh, not sorry she was well, amazing thank you Christine. nice but um 
So, but then on Wednesdays, I also started, I am the host of the Wednesday night band showcase. Oh. Yes. And what I thought. Here of, at Navajo, right? Here at Navajo. Well, you were asking about what I do here. So, yes. <laughs> so on true. Wednesdays, I wanted to be able to create a format for younger bands that don't have a following, need a little bit of an extra boost. And Chris allowed me the opportunity to have a Wednesday night. And so what I do is I bring two, I try to bring two younger bands or newer bands I shouldn't shouldn't say younger but newer bands that could really uh, I try to cross pollinate their audiences to help them grow their following and I take them from different parts of town so that hopefully we're we're building something for them helping them out and then I videotape it and hope that my venue owners that I book at will watch them and sometimes by the end of the night I'll get a text Let's book them. Nice. And book them, Dano. Yeah, <laughs> totally what go. I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And then I also, on Thursday nights, I use as my way, the musicians around town seem to know that I come here on Thursday nights for the Thursday night open mic with the host, Jeff Owsley. And I listen to new bands. And then afterwards, I'll go outside and talk to them. And every band is different. Everybody's at a different mm-hmm. level. Some I won't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I get you. Uh, I got you. But it's, well, <laughs> but it's and, really fun. And it's not even about their talent necessarily. It's about their drive. Like, there's a right. lot of bands out there who, un- I hate to say it, but they fill a spot that they should back the fuck uh, out of. There's because always a place. Yeah. There, there are a lot of bands who are as talented or more talented who want to get out there. Right. You know. Well, and, we're going through a demographic change also. Oh, we are. And so you, you got to bless... All the musicians, uh-huh. but there's a point where you say it's time to pass the baton. Yes. And so there is some of that going on, but if we can elongate the life of the... The scene itself. The whole idea is to create a community around all of the music and give every opportunity that we can to every every musician who wants it. Right. And right. that's really what the whole ultimate goal, and you guys here at the Navajo Live, especially with the your acoustic jams every Monday night yes, at 7 p.m. Yes, and, and we then, have a different guest host every Monday. That's awesome. Yes. And then every month, you do at least one of these singer-songwriter showcases every month Once on a, a month. Sunday. Yes, right. at 7 o'clock.